Aqua here again. Welcome back to Regrowth. You find me at the bottom of the world. I am down in a cavern that I found. A chasm. Chasm. And look what I found there. I've just, just found myself some essence berry bushes, which is what I was down here for. I have died a couple of times since episode one. I tried doing a little enderman trap. And... Ah, some more there as well. Awesome. Tried doing a little enderman trap. And... Fortunately, I put it in a real bad place, and the Enderman fell into the entrance to my base. And when I went down there to get him, he managed to, to get me out of the trap. So I couldn't get him back in the trap, and uh, the Enderman knacked me. And then I was trying to get wool. I've been trying to get a bit of wool so I can make a bed. So I've been trying to get spiders on a night. And uh, a fallen night made a mess of me really quick. So I'm not sure what that was about. Is that more over there? Possibly. I don't think it is. Very dark down here. I oh, know it's just water. Okay. So I look back up to my base. I've got six essence berry bushes. That's a good start. Uh, certainly a good start. So that will open a quest. So let's look while we're down here. I think I'm safe enough to study here. Let's uh, kill that bat. I'll say wool, wool of bat may be useful later on. Can't see it. Where are you, bat? Come here. Here we go. So uh, this cutlass is really worth making, by the way. It's... Uh, Miles more damage than than the uh, rapier that I made. A lot more damage. So definitely glad I made that. So I think I'm kind of safe-ish. Mm, probably not. Let's let's stand here and have a quick look in the book. So I can now complete the under interference. <laughs> oh no, wool anyway. Eh, get off me water. Bats everywhere. I can now complete interference, which is good. There's another Enderman down there, but I'm not going to look at him. So I'll claim that. Kill the total of one Enderman. Gives me another Enderpearl, so I've now got two Enderpearls. Very nice. If we come back out of there, you'll see I've got this new quest over here, which is to collect 16 Essence Berries, and I'm going to get six more Essence Berry Bushes, and a set of armor, and this Force of Habit. I'm just not sure what it does. So that's pretty cool. So I need to get these ones to get these ones planted that I've got and then we should carry on so I guess I should just meet you back at my base let's try and get this enderman, has he gone? I think he's gone hmm, yeah I can hear him he might have fallen down somewhere ok, well I don't want to waste the episode just missing around down here, there he is let's uh, try and get this guy Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. And I died again on the way back. Bloody fallen knight got me. The bugger. So uh, I am already... I can't press tab then to look at my deaths. I'm already on five deaths. I can keep a track of it there as well. I can keep a track of it in the book. Looking at... Oh man. Five times. All from monsters. So yeah, two endermen, two fallen knights, and... What was the other thing that got me? I don't remember now. So let's carry on then. So what was we doing last time? We was working towards these two quests. The filling study. So let's make an analyzer. I've not done any analyzing yet. I have made a couple more plants though. If you check in here. You see I have been spreading my crops onto something I didn't know before. I think I kind of half knew. But the, the crossbreed when these are fully mature. So you don't want to do it with ones... On either side that are not mature, if you want to get the crossbreed. When they're not mature, they can spread. So if I put one there and these were like 0% are just freshly planted, and this, like uh, if it was like like that, you know, 29% whatever, then there's a chance that wheat would spread onto this or a chance that carrot would spread. If you want, well, no, it wouldn't because it's sand, but you know, if you want sugar cane, we need these to be mature. And then first of all, two crops there, and we should get sugar cane on there now. And that, Sugar cane, of course, it's very useful. Got to think about a fuel spot source soon. I, I know if I've used sugar cane for fuel in the past. They look nice, don't they? So I might use that. I've done one more crossbreed. I noticed that pumpkin and carrots produce melon. I've got myself some melon. And that's the only crossbreed I've done up to now. And we'll leave the rest to see if I get given them as quests. I don't want to jump ahead too much if I have got quests for all this stuff. Uh, so as you see, yeah, I've got a. I've been out killing stuff. I killed. I managed to kill a couple of them. Them dire wolves by standing in my door here, they're, they're too fat to get through the door. I don't really want to go up here at the minute because I can hear one growling. Is this where I die the sixth time? 
Oh, no, he's gone. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, well, let's leave him there. Give me a tongue of dog, which is could be quite useful for witchery later on. I'm fairly sure that witchery quests have been added in this version, which is pretty awesome. And oh, there we go, let's uh, repair that. I might as well repair that as well. Well, I'm repairing stuff, and I'm going to need some more food very shortly. Yeah, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of not getting massively low, but getting a little bit low on... One, two, three... On charcoal. And of course, some trees out there, I guess the well's infinite, but the trees are kind of finite, so I don't want to go too nuts using all that. I don't need to eat anything, okay. So I've got 13 of these, I need three more. So I planted them there. The way you plant these high up is if you just put a block underneath them, plant them on the block, and you can get rid of the block from underneath. So I should have another six of them once these grow, and I get three more essence berries for that quest, which is awesome. Uh, as you can see, I have been trying to kill spiders. So one more string, I can make three wool, I can make a bed, so then I can sleep the night after that, which is going to be good. So right, what do we want to make here? We're going to make a crop analyzer. There he is, that guy. So for that I need a bit of glass, do I? Have I got any glass? I've not got no glass. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a bit of charcoal. So I'm down to like 18 charcoal now. I don't want to be using too much uh, bloody sand in there, did I? <laughs> right, so I'll come back and make that in a minute. I need some, what do I need? Some planks, some slabs and some sticks. So, uh, oh, how do I go about making slabs then? Three planks. Is it going to give me it from doing three of three these guys? It is, wonderful. Okay, easy enough. Got sticks and there we go. We've got three glass. Is it six glass I need? It's six glass I need, isn't it? I don't even remember that. So we can get our analyzer made. That's one thing. We can also, because we've got some reeds, we've got 15 reeds there, which is nice. I can go. I need string for them as well, though, don't I? So I'm using some of my string. It's a shame. I believe I need four bits of paper. And I need two of them. One of my bits of string. So hopefully I'll get me to kill another couple of spiders on the next night to get myself a bed. Four of them. Two of them. Oh, this is wrong, isn't it? Three of them. One of them. There we go. There's a book. And, oh, what do I combine it with? What do I combine it with? Lexicana. I should have actually looked how I made this. Oh, any, any, oh, son of a bitch, I should, I should, I did say that then, didn't I, I should have had to look how to make this, it is just a piece of paper and a flower, so I didn't have to use that bit of string either, there we go, we've got Alexicana Botanica, wonderful, let's see, to the next part to that quest, yeah. no, that's just a completion, so we get eight more floral fertiliser, which is more flowers of course, Still not unlocked that one. Oh, that one. Ooh, saplings. That's interesting. I like saplings very much. So we need this thing made. Ah, it would like some saplings very much, please. Gets me some glass panes. One there. Two like that. Two like that. Two like that. No. Anal. Any excuse to type anal in the chat. That's just weird. What? There's not one there. Okay, not one there. But we want... Oops. Everything else was correct. We just didn't have... No, okay, I'm doing something wrong here. That's a stone one. Fool. Fool. Well, you go in. Bam. Try again. There we go. Excellent. So there is my wonderful analyzer. Uh, I guess I'm going to want that near my plants somewhere. So I'll just put it here for now. And what we can do now is start analyzing seeds. Awesome. And this is where it starts getting really cool because you can make the. We've got two seeds there. Let's have a look at one of them. And ah, what I need is a book, don't I? 
So I think it's going to tell me to make a book next. Let's have a look. Uh, claim reward. Oh, I get the book as a reward. Excellent. So this, mm, this is my agriculture book, agricraft, and what I can do now. I shouldn't have anything in there, but if I put it into here, discovered seeds. So that see that growth one, gain one, strength one. That means that's a basic seed. That one there has got growth and gain two. So that one is better than uh, that one. And what we've got in here, discovered seeds one. Okay, let's have a look what's in here now. What we've got in here now is, there we go, potato seeds. Shows me the different growth stages. The potatoes are based on almost every meal. However, some have been found, some have even found ways to turn into beverage. Tier one, fruits one. And uh, it doesn't show you any mutation because I've not actually done the mutations while I've had the book, I guess. Uh, that's all good. We have got another quest done. That now opens us up. Just this one other quest, okay. You recall a mixture of bone meal and mandrake that could transform plants into other plants. Perhaps this could be applied to the grasses you've managed to cultivate with bone meal. I need to make some mutandis. I can pick some them, them or them. So let's have a look at mutandis. I believe this is a non-standard crafting recipe for this because it's normally crafted in a cauldron. So I need Mm. I need another mandrake root, so let's, let's kill... Hello doggy, that's where you are is it? Uh, let's kill one of these guys. I shall have to make the muffs for that. The muffs are standard recipe, I think I'll need leather for them. Yeah, I don't want any leather. Okay, can't do that just yet. But, uh, if I keep doing that, that's going to be a ball ache if I... Just, I'm sure that I did it a night before. So I should now, I guess, I should now be checking out every seed I get. I'm working these up. You can get these up to 10, 10, 10 is what, you, what you're going to go for. So eventually I want to get every plant to 10, 10, 10. I'll do some of that on camera. I'll do most of that off camera because that's just busy work for me to get on with. Uh, as you can see, we can now put the mandrakes in there. There should be basic ones, I think. Oh, put my book in there. Oh, okay, I don't think it shows you it unless I've got the book in there when I'm doing it. So I need to remember to do that. Because they're going to show now, are they? Okay, good to know. Good to know. That's not a seed. Even though it's kind of a seed, isn't it? Weird. So leave the book in there so I make sure that I don't forget to add things to it. Uh, wood ash. Got some of that. Green dye. I've got one there from some little cactuses. And I'm going to have to use one of these green flowers. So I'm going to need a mortar and pestle. Turn them into petals. And then with a mortar and pestle. Which I should be able to make. There we go. A bowl. It's just three slabs. Okay. So I've got some slabs, haven't we? Clear out your lot. Three slabs. Gives me a bowl. There's a plank. Yeah. Plank and a stick. Plank, stick, mortar and pestle. And now combine that with these. Gives me some floral green powder. Wonderful. Oops. I'll have two of them. I'm just going to use this other one up there while I've got it. I believe it was two mandrake. What am I making here again? Mutandis. <laughs> Mutandis. A little, 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 little bit of bone meal, that's what I'm missing. Yeah, a little bit of bone meal in the middle. There we go, and then four is wood ash that I've been getting when I've been chopping trees down, and it's not giving me it. Does that not count? That does not count. There we go. Pick one, I shall have eight more bone uh, mutandis, please. Just, I'm sure that'll come in handy. I think I'm close to getting a tree farm, perhaps. Ooh, you sap. You turn this contained stuff into saplings. Now you can have some wood that's actually alive. There's only so much character in a dead bit of wood. There is. Also means you can stop going further and further out to harvest the dead wood. Very nice. Detects any sapling. Use mutandis on long grass to mutate it into other plants, most of which you can also be mutated from if you don't want it. Repeat this until you get a sapling. Then you can grow the tree to get more of the same sapling as usual. 
Wonderful. So what I think I shall do here is I hope this is the way I should be doing this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use. Oh, I've got loads of that now. Awesome. I'm going to use. Is that the stuff I want? Oops. Oh, it's not the stuff I wanted at all. The bone meal I want in there. Idiot. I can go back in there. That's because of them new flowers I just created. And oh, bone meal. Bone meal, bone meal, bone meal. Let's bone meal on here, get a bit of long grass. And now let's mutandis some of this long grass. There we go, we've got a spruce sapling, wonderful. We've that's rubbish, rubbish. Another spruce sapling, I'll keep that. Rubbish. Birch sapling, wonderful. Tiger wood. Hawthorn, excellent. Mm, I'll keep a lily pad. And a violet. So not bad. I've got three more. Let's see what else we get with these three. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, so not bad. I've got some trees. I've got spruce and birch, which is very good. Garden trees. Tall birch. That's not a normal birch. I've got tiger wood. Not sure what that does for me. And they've got a hawthorn, which is a nice witchery one. And they've got a lily pad. Not bad. But I guess what I need to do now is... That's what I've got that other green dye from. Some of them little cacti things. Um, I guess what I need to do now is get these planted. And see what the crack is. What's our book tell us? Pick one reward. Oh, I needed oak. Damn it. You can send this on long grass mutated other plants, most of which you can also be mutated from. It says any sapling, any sapling, yeah, right. So what I need is four of any sapling. So I need to get these grown and then knocked down again. You night like time? Of course you are. Let's risk it standing here a little bit. Nah, okay. Let's not do that. So wait till daytime. Got any spiders nearby? Nope. Nope, let's go in there. Okay, I'll wait till daytime, I'll be back and we'll get a tree grown. Oh, spider. Thanks. Hey, wool. Are you wool? Are you enough wool? Two, I've got 12 wool. Hooray. Uh, oh, man. Inventories are getting messy. 12 wool. Now you're going to give me three, yeah, uh, 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 and hopefully I've got, yes, I have got a bed, perhaps, I've got a bed, yay, I can sleep for the night, bed can go there, monsters are nearby, no, monsters are not nearby, wonderful, that makes things a bit easier, doesn't it, excellent, I, I'll plant this tiger one as well to see what it gives us, might give us something nice. So, makes sense to get it planted. Now, I'll deal with this stuff off camera. Uh, I'll do with that, I can stop myself falling into the hole there, which I suppose is bonus. Right, there's monsters outside, but hopefully not too many. I have thrown my bait sapling somewhere. Come here. And we want a bit of dirt. I want to make sure that. It's not too scary out here. Whew, that was close. He nearly went pop. So let's get a couple of these planted. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with one of them. One of them. Some bone meal onto it. There's a tree. There's a tree. That is tall. It's very tall. Yay, getting wood. I've got some real, real, real life wood. Wonderful. I can make a nice parquet flooring in my base. Can we have fast decay on? No. Right. These would be a bit more of a pain to cut down. So, I shall probably not use these saplings quite so much just yet. Yeah, look. Oh, God damn it. I 
hopefully I shall have enough of one type of sapling and these guys decay. Yep, already have. Excellent. So, creeper, you've seen me. Are you coming towards me? I don't think you are. Okay. I think I'm safe. There we go. Claim reward. I will have... I will have an oak sapling. Shall I? Yeah, I'll have an oak sapling. Thank you. That opens up. Flower power. This book enlightens you to ways in which you can use this mystical flowers to alter the world around you. Perhaps through this you may begin to restore the world to what it once was. We need to make a bird bath. Such efforts require you to start small though. First you will need an apothecary to meld the magics of different mystical flowers together. Okay, that's going to be pure daisies, four fertilizers, and living rock or living wood. Very nice. So, a petal apothecary. Let's make that. No, we see me any. Oh, pasture seed there. Don't blow it up. Thank you. Take that pasture seed. Oh, shit. What was that? Oh, man, didn't even see him coming for me. Bloody die, wolves. Did not even see him coming for me. Is that the one that I ignored before? That was sat up there. Saved me, right, doesn't it? Is he going to come for me again? Oh, he's so close to my grave. Oh, you douchebag. That's right. Let's walk away. Yeah. You stay there. I'll ignore you. You just stay there. Out the way. Pot of petal apothecary. That's next. We are cracking on with stuff. Okay. Easy enough. I should have some slabs. Where'd they go? I did have some slabs. Did I bin them into it? Yep. Uh, I need a flower of any kind. It's like a black one. To get some petals. And some cobble. Easy enough. Bam. Oh. Bam. There we go. One petal apothecary. I'll have that name a water source for now. A water source is down there, of course. So there's that one done. Is that another quest complete? It is. Pick one. I will go with the rock, as I can now get wood easy enough. Oh no. Aha. You find that to start practicing the botanical magics, you'll need to make a pure daisy. Why would I need four pure daisies? Uh, pure daisies are just the white petals. I need two white flowers, which is why we need two flowers before, I'm guessing. There we go, and we need any seed. So, let me grab one of these rubbish seeds. One, one, ones. Lovely. And I need my bucket, of course. It's about time I tied in my inventory up, I think. So, seeds. Uh, one, two, three, four of them in there. You can see them floating around. I'm presuming this is the same recipe as I've used before. And it is. Wonderful. We have got a pure daisy. I can now use that to make living wood and living rock. So if I was to go like that and put some of this wood around it, in about a minute's time, this will all be living wood. And you can see there's a little white particle effect showing me that things are happening there. Do we have Steve's factory manager? No. <laughs> Ooh, got him. Steve's statues. Um, anyway, so that's that. I now get to pick one. Oh, it's alive. Pure daisy imbues rock and wood around it with mana. Lifeblood of the natural world transforms them into a higher state of life than they had before. I need to actually make some. How many do I need to make? 16 and 16. Okay, I'll tie them in inventory. I'll get 16 each of these made. I need to get some smooth stone. So what I shall actually do is uh, I'll have to cook up some cobble for now. Cooked up some cobble into smooth stone then and I've got my living rock. So once I've got this, we have got another quest done. Uh, I planted my trees and unfortunately I didn't get a sapling back from the oak tree. So I've lost the oak sapling. But I've got some spruce and as you can see, I have a nice little spruce floor in here because priorities should be floors. <laughs> and uh, I, I put three more there because it wasn't even. And that's going to wind me up. Uh, 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 uh. Pack here floor. There we go. One, two, three. So, yeah, uh, I've got my... They don't grow very quick. So, I don't know if it's got slowed down growth. 
Oh, there we go. Just got one growing then. I've got eight uh, spruce trees just planted up here. So that should keep me going for now. I want that XP, not the creeper. I've seen the creeper, don't matter. I'm not sure what the right button does on this. Is it block? Yeah, it looks like it does block. Bounce over here to waste some hunger. I'll cut that down off camera. So what we can do now is I was just there, stood there AFK doing replying to a couple of comments and it went night time. Two fallen knights hit me, I managed to jump in here on about one one and a half hearts and uh shut the door behind me, heal up and kill him. So that was close. So uh, yeah, we can do that quest, I believe. So I am gonna have thirty uh, I'm gonna have more living rock because it's easy to get uh, wood and stone at the minute. And excellent. So it's looking like Horn of the Wild and uh, Sun Day Blooms, that's what they're called. Day Blooms, Sun Shines and Lollipops. These flowers use the energy of the sun to concentrate mana into a more tangible form from which you believe you should be able to manipulate. So that's what the plane is, just grass specific items, okay. I need to make myself a Day Bloom, just one, easy enough. And I get five Day Blooms and Nightshades as a reward, that's excellent. That is very nice. I'm hoping they work through glass. That's kind of why I've gone with the glass roof. And then the uh, Horn of the Wild. This is very useful. What this is, what this does is it breaks plants, so I can I don't have to uh, I don't have to break them all once I lay them down. So this should be pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. I've got yellow. I've got orange. I think it's light blue. Yellow, orange. I might as well make two of these. And uh, light blue should be enough i think so let me make two sun blooms some day blooms so four them petals this is going from memory this so i might be totally wrong uh, let's have a look day bloom and um, generating flora day bloom is two yellow one light blue one orange that's quite sad that i knew that that is quite sad uh, I'll use some of these, these are just basic seeds. And what I can do now then is get my buckets. Sploosh. And then one, two, three, four, five. If you want. And then I'll have another one while I've got the flowers to do it. One, two, three, four, five. Gets me two. Two wonderful day blooms. Let's see. First things first. Do you behave in here? Yeah, yeah. Looks like the fact we're getting that little graphic looks like the do. So I basically make this full ceiling glass. Now this is a little mana generation place. And it'll work day and night because I still have night blooms. From Yeah, excellent. Oh claim reward, pick one. Okay. I'll go with days then, so I'll make sure I sleep at night. So that's all good. Uh, this horn of the wild should be pretty straightforward. I think it's a pasture seed. It is in normal play. Horn of the wild, it is a pasture seed. Wonderful. I've got some spare ones of them. And nice, another quick and easy quest. Gives me a horn of the wild. And uh, I don't want this to brick any of my plants in there. It might do. Let's have a look. <laughs> Balls. Balls. I guess I'll be doing... Oh man. Let me start this out because this is this can't be nice to watch. Okay, that didn't really go to plan, did it? But, um, never mind. I've got some of them there. I'm guessing I've ended that quest in. And uh, what I've seen is I've got loads of other quests here I can do. Look at this. I can, I've can. i got a quest in there to do a... To make a bookcase. I've got quests to make... Snorkel. I've got quests to make loads of storage solutions and stuff here that's really cool we've got jabber barrels we've got baggins is better chests super crafting frame so that's all good i should be getting to that next episode and what we've got in this one is that the same one that's the same one yet and then i can actually complete two quests down here i think two quests with unclaimed rewards that is because i went ahead not that one my bad that one no no that's not the right one at all that one, Life of the World. There we go. Two quests of unclaimed rewards. And that is because I made the pumpkin seeds, which gets me some pumpkin, pumpkin pie. And because I made the melon seeds, which gets me some more slices of melon. 
and that as you see opens up seed so it gives me some kind of order in which we're to progress my seed breeding thing so that's very nice so i shall be cracking on with all this stuff when we get into the next episodes we're going to carry on with this in here though what the world came to for now what we want to do is we need a way to get that mana into a mana pool so we've got spreading the love we need to make a mana spreader and a mana pool mana spreader should be slightly different because normally it uses does it use something that i haven't got does it use gold mana spreader which uses wood and a petal wonderful well we have a petal left the black one from when we did uh, something so seven of them and i'm gonna need a mana pool which i think it's just five of them so seven one of them gets me a mana spreader wonderful five of them gets me a mana diluted mana pool mm -hmm. yeah uh, i think there's a full mana pool oh no it's 100 percent wonderful pick one i've got two hard ranges wonderful and i guess i might as well have so I might as well have some more day blooms for now. Oh, I'm not finished. I have not finished. I need to make the mana pool into a proper mana pool. Okay. So what I want to do now then is if we put that there. Put our mana pool down. We should start getting some mana into that from these guys. No. Why? Why is that not happening? There we go. And uh, I need to make a second mana pool. What we'll do with this one is chuck it into the first one. And we've not, not got enough mana in there yet, so let's have a look at the book, see what the book says. So, I'm not going to be reading the quest here, have I? This book allows you to ways. Yeah, I read that one. So we. Uh, made the pure daisy we've done sunshine lollipops these flowers use energy the sun to concentrate mana into a more tangible form which you should be able to manipulate so that's our day blooms that we got and then that breaks all your flowers wonderful so this one here this living world seems to be able to channel and direct mana around the world in ways you never would have thought possible and the living rock holds mana directed at it only releasing it under direction of the wood a task with a plane is specific items. So a full mana pool there. So the first one you see there is a diluted mana pool. And now we are moving on to our full mana pool. We can also make a Wand of the Forest. One of the Forest is also pretty straightforward. There we go. We've got a tick there now. So we can chuck that in there. We have got a full blown mana pool. So I want rid of that. I'm going to put that one there. And we can finish that quest. And that's going to get us them eight more day blooms just gonna go with eight more day blooms yeah if i was on a server oh. if i was on a server which i've not got this set up on the servers yet then i'd maybe go with nightshade so it works when i'm offline as well but as i'm gonna be online and i'm gonna be sleeping most of the time i might as well just stick with that for now i shall probably plant these up on the surface to be honest give myself a decent amount of mana uh, for now i should leave them there i'm gonna wrap up very shortly so I'm trying to keep the episodes to around 30 minutes. A couple of hard ranges is very good. They're, uh, they're plants that use water to generate power. So we've got a bit of man mana generation stuff going on. Uh, I'm going to quickly finish a couple more quests and then wrap up. So I want some more living wood. I'm going to go like that. Yeah, I want two of them. One, two, I think. And we need some more petals. So let's go with uh, what I've got a lot of. Yeah, I'll go with the green one. A couple of petals. And what I should be able to do with this, I think it might be three sticks. It might not, no, it might not be. It might be three sticks. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's three sticks. So I need to get more living wood. So I can't do that just yet. I need to get a bit more living wood going. So we'll come back to that in just a moment. I've got four logs at a minute. Want to come back and do that what we should have in here if we've been lucky enough is excellent we have got enough essence berries combined with the ones that i had earlier to complete this quest excellent well, there we go i've got more bushes full set of armor that will come in handy and then um, this thing oh no where's where do i find this thing again this little book here I get to this screen i can put that there I'm not sure what it does I'm not sure 
Not sure at all what it does. I'll have to find out. There we go, we've got that. Let me plant these other essence berry bushes so they're on the grow. Uh, uh, uh. One. Oops. Jump. One. Two. And then. Three, four. I plan to have this full wall of these bush bushes when I find more, of course. And then I'll have the last two there on the floor. So we've got a few more of them planted. What have we got? No, we haven't quite got all of them wood. But there we go. I said a change. Mm. One more of these. It's me, our third twig. And combine that with these guys. Get says our wonder the forest. Excellent. And that might be. And it is another completion. More floral fertilizer. Everything is going well. I shall look at these next time. What we've got. These are magic. Is this magic crops? It's been ender pearl. So that's magic crops by the look of it. To get essence seeds, infuse wheat seeds with a bit of mana in a mana pool. Wonderful. That's easy enough. And soil plants. Simple farmland is all well and good. Is this uh, garden stuff? If you want to grow anything particularly worthwhile, investing some time to prove a better alternative could, be prepared, could prove worthwhile. Organics, compost and stuff. Cool, we'll get into that next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I uh, hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.